behalf of the Delaware River Waterfront Corporation and our board of directors and our staff, I would like to thank you all for joining us on this beautiful autumn day on the river to celebrate the groundbreaking of what will be a beautiful and unique park. The impetus for this project springs directly from our master plan for the Central Delaware, which was adopted by City Council in March of last year. To explain the goals of this multifaceted project, I'm proud to bring to the podium Mayor Michael Nutter, who has been a tireless advocate for the implementation of the master plan, which he did so much to inspire. Mayor? Tom, thank you very much, and uh, I really was, uh, I was paying attention even though it didn't appear that I was. Um, thank you all for being out here today. I want to thank Tom and all the great folks at uh, Delaware River Waterfront uh, Corporation, certainly uh, Tom and his staff doing a, uh, doing a bang up job. We have a number of uh, DRWC uh, board members who are here. Terry Gillen is here, Jay Goldstein, and uh, Alan Greenberger, our uh, Deputy Mayor for Economic Development. Laura Ingrund. I think I said that close to right, uh, from the uh, Department of Conservation and Natural Resources, DCNR, uh, Cosmo uh, Cer Servideo, uh, from the Department of Environmental Protection, and Dr. James Moylan, President of the Pennsport Civic Association. And as usual, um, uh, I mentioned this to him, as usual, hiding in the back, you always have to go looking for him, is uh, Sean McKinney uh, from uh, the William Penn Foundation. We want to thank uh, Sean and the entire William Penn Foundation for their continued uh, work and help and support. So please uh, give Sean and William Penn a big round of applause. Certainly proud and excited to be back on the Delaware waterfront so soon after announcing another William Penn Foundation grant uh, for the next uh, phase of waterfront development uh, literally just a couple weeks ago. We really are making progress. We've accomplished a lot uh, in a relatively short period of time. Earlier this year, we opened a section of the trail in Northern Liberties on Penn Street, and now we're breaking ground, of course, here in South Philadelphia. Just uh, Tuesday, I cut a ribbon on a new section of the Circuit Trail in Port Richmond two days ago. And as I mentioned, I'm excited to return here for this ribbon cutting for this park, this uh, park I'll be excited to return uh, for the ribbon cutting for this park next year, and soon after we'll have another pier park uh, coming down the line on Tasker Street. The story behind this pier reflects so much of what really makes Philadelphia the great city that it is, and it's a site of the city's uh, first immigration station and the first Navy Yard. This pier was a site where the frigate Philadelphia was built, what else would they call it? Uh, which, uh, and I know there are many history buffs in the crowd, uh, this is the ship that was involved in America's first overseas battle in the first Barbary War in 1803. The captain of the Philadelphia was William Bainbridge, for whom nearby Bainbridge Street is named. It was also the site of Philadelphia's immigration station. We welcomed new Americans beginning in the 1870s through the First World War. And so, in fact, this was our own Ellis Island. So many people arrived, becoming new Philadelphians, came right through this portal, including the families of nearby neighbors in Pennsport and the rest of South Philadelphia. So it's really wonderful uh, that through this pro project, uh, we're going to properly acknowledge this very, very special place and connect the past uh, with uh, the present and, of course, going into the future. As the pier was abandoned, unfortunately, it became unused. It was slowly reclaimed by nature, just like many other parts of our industrial waterfront as container ships grew bigger and required larger docks to load and unload cargo. Today, with this event and the impending development project, the pier will once again become usable public space and a symbol of Philadelphia's resurgence as a green city that is sustainably reusing its assets to build the economy create vibrant neighborhoods, and become the greenest city in America. Pier by pier and block by block, we're building a waterfront that connects to neighborhoods, creates development opportunities, and gives Philadelphians places to enjoy the river, some greenery, and some fresh air. But we will reclaim this river and open space for everyone in this city. And I would suggest that nowhere is, the, nowhere is that more needed uh, than in South Philadelphia, one of our most densely populated uh, communities. 
I'm proud uh, that this is a continuation of priorities that I've laid out for our administration many, many years ago. And again, I thank Tom and all of the DRWC board members, but most importantly, I thank the citizens for hanging in there with us, for giving us your faith and trust, for coming out to so many meetings after meetings after meetings. I know at times, uh, government, we probably drive you crazy with so many meetings, but we want you to be involved. We want you to be engaged. We want you to know what's going on. And so. Uh, for all of those reasons, I look forward to returning next year with all of you when we take the first walk out to the end together. Thanks a lot. Congratulations. As the mayor said, this project is part of what we foresee as a steady progression of new parks, connector streets, and segments of the Delaware River Trail that will be designed and built over the next several years. This project has many important and interwoven parts that really come together for, to make a wonderful, rich mixture. Public access to the river for community residents as well as regional visitors, ecological restoration, historic interpretation, public art, and civic engagement. As in any project, the work of the professionals who design and who will build this park should be acknowledged. I would like to recognize in particular Scott Cattell and Tracy Cohen from the fir uh, firm of Applied Ecological Services. Who this, this project is a labor of love for them. Um, in addition, uh, Chris Hager of Langan Engineers and Joe Canuso and Jerry Thorne from the Chamonix Construction will also play important roles in the project. And a few more, just a few more uh, recognitions. One is to uh, Joe Forkin, our Vice President for Development, and Lizzie Woods. <laughs> and Lizzie Woods, who's been our who's been our project manager. Uh, <laughs> Joe and Lizzie have invested, maybe not blood, sweat, and tears, but time, energy, and brain power into the funding and design and getting all the regulatory approvals for this project. We're also very grateful to the volunteer group that is already doing a wonderful job in stewarding this area, the Friends of Washington Avenue Green. And Susan is here somewhere. Susan, raise your hand. And we hope, we hope WAG, as they're called, Washington Avenue Green, will also become the stewards of this new park uh, and also serve as volunteer docents to take people out in the park and explain the ecology and the history of the pier. I um, also want to thank Eric Blumenfeld and Gary Messina of the Sheet Metal uh, Union Local 19, who are the owners of the land right behind us, for all their support and cooperation with this project. And just a few comments about the design of the park. Uh, as you can see from the rendering, there are some key elements that will make this pier park a very special place. We'll be taking advantage of the natural state of the pier by building an on-grade path that will allow visitors to walk out to the tip of the pier and get close enough to the water to touch it. There will also be an elevated boardwalk to get visitors up and over the river to provide a great south-looking view of this majestic Delaware. Uh, we're also going to be enhancing the pier's existing ecology with intertidal and riparian plantings, innovative stabilization methods to create habitat for fish and other wildlife. And throughout this design process, we've had great cooperation and guidance from the Army Corps of Engineers and Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection. Both of these agencies want to have this pier display cutting-edge ecological restoration techniques that can be duplicated elsewhere in the region. We also want to acknowledge the pier's historic significance that the mayor described with both historic signage as well as a striking, pe uh, striking piece of sculpture by the well-known artist Jody Pinto, who was with us today. Jody? Where's Jody? There's Jody. And in the inset, uh, in the rendering, you can, you can see uh, what her piece of art will look like. Um, titled The Land Boy, this, this sculptural work will comprise a 55-foot spire that will rise at the end of the pier, providing a welcoming beacon that recalls the site's history as a site of arrival and new beginnings for so many. Visitors will be able to climb to a 16-foot platform that will provide additional views of the river and the park. And design elements such as the land buoy allow DRWC to continue Philadelphia's great tradition of putting public art front and center 
in all of our open space and park projects. I'd like to finally also thank our very generous funders for making this project possible. Uh, they include, as the mayor mentioned, William Penn Foundation and uh, Sean McCaney, who has been with the creation of uh, Delaware River Waterfront Corporation before its beginning uh, and then and ever since. Also, the city of Philadelphia's capital budget, for which we thank Mayor Nutter, uh, Deputy Mayor Alan Greenberger, and Councilman Mark Squilla. Um, we also have with us today Bob Teal from Senator Fr Larry Farnese's office, and the senator has been a big supporter of this project. And the Pennsylvania Department of Conservation and Natural Resources, which has been a vital partner with DRWC in funding such projects as the Race Street Pier and the acquisition of lands, piers, and riparian rights adjacent to the Walmart about a mile from here. Uh, and that, that those lands and those piers will serve as a southern anchor of the future wetlands park. And in that regard, it's my pleasure to um, uh, introduce to you uh, Laura Ingram, the Director of the Bureau of Recreation and Conservation within DCNR, to speak on behalf of the Commonwealth. I really have the greatest job in the world because I get to go to events like this and see and meet people who have such an investment in their communities that really shows uh, what a great state that we are. Uh, you know, sometimes it gets frustrating working in government by coming out here and talking to folks like you and learning the great work that you're doing that we play a small part in. And I really want to uh, applaud all of you, uh, thank the mayor and also the uh, Waterfront Corporation for their wonderful support and their uh, really visionary leadership in connecting Philadelphia to the waterfront. Uh, connecting communities to their rivers and to the waterfront is a priority for DCNR. Uh, we've been working on that uh, with communities, you know, as large, of course, as you know, our largest city here in Philadelphia, to many small communities uh, across Pennsylvania. Um, for so many years, you know, decades, you know, we turned our backs to the rivers, uh, but, you know, for the past 30, 40 years, communities have been really turning their fronts back to the river uh, and bringing that connection in. I really thought it was neat that this is a connection to uh, the immigration that came through this area uh, and that it's also going to allow um, folks whose families may have come in, in into the community this way to really connect back to the river. Um, it connects to this great trail that we've had a, a part in building, uh, and we look forward to continuing to work uh, with the city and with uh, the Waterfront Co Corporation uh, to develop these new opportunities for public riverfront access, uh, recreation, and uh, ecological restoration. All of those are key components to our program uh, and to our relationship here uh, in Philadelphia. And this will all come together to make this revitalization of Philadelphia's Delaware River water waterfront a success. These projects like these and, and a big waterfront like this, it takes a long time to get this all underway. Uh, but because of the commitment of the citizenry and the elected officials and the folks working in the, this area, we've been able to do that. Um, we have a new person working for DCNR in this region, and that's Jeff Knowles. And I just want to point him out there. Uh, he's. <laughs> Um, he's a Philadelphian, and we're very happy to get him uh, in our regional office uh, with our other fo folks there, uh, Drew Gilchrist, uh, who's our uh, other regional advisor. Um, DCNR awarded $250,000 to the Waterfront Corporation to transform this pier into a wetlands park, as has been mentioned, with the boardwalk, the great public art we heard about, uh, and a viewing platform. Uh, this all implements, we're very interested in, in implementation of plans. We fund a lot of plans at DCNR, uh, but we don't want to fund plans that just sit on a shelf. We want to fund plans uh, that implement uh, communities' dreams. And as, as the mayor was mentioning, you know, I think the public kind of sometimes gets tired of all these meetings we make them have. But again, we want to make sure that uh, we're making that connection to what people in the community want. So uh, folks have been great implementing that plan that was uh, prepared by the Philadelphia Waterfront Water Department and funded in part by DCNR. Um, we've also been able to make other investments in this region, uh, including the Race Street Pier that was mentioned, really great park for the community. Uh, and it's, it's an early success of all these implementations that will 
uh, demonstrate really what we, experience, what we will be experiencing up and down the waterfront as this goes forward. We're also working uh, north up the river on a master plan for uh, Penn Treaty Park. Um, and we were adding it up, and we've invested close to $2 million in your tax dollars for various planning, acquisition, park, and trail development pro projects on the North Delaware. Uh, and we recently celebrated just on Tuesday, I think this is mentioned already, the opening of the Port Richmond Trail. We also invested money in the Navy Yards Riverfront Greenway um, and many other important Philadelphia projects, and we continue uh, to want to be, be that partner and that support for what you and your community want to implement here uh, in this region. So we are, we'll be excited to come back uh, when this park is completed. This will be another uh, remarkable example of linking planning and committed leadership that will add and give substantive and positive change to here along the Delaware River. Uh, so I'm really happy to be here on behalf of the Department of Conservation and Natural Resources, joining with all of you in the William Penn Foundation as well to help realize these new trails, new parks, and a revitalized riverfront in Philadelphia. Thank you. Thank you, Lauren. Uh, next, it's my pleasure to introduce uh, Alan Greenberg, the Deputy Mayor for Commerce and Planning and a very important member of our Board of Directors, our Executive Committee, and our Planning Committee. Having been an exceptional architect in his previous life, Alan's sense of good design helps guide all of our projects. Alan? Thanks, Tom. Uh, I, I'm, I don't know how many people here cook, but I'm going to guess that one here, right here? Okay, good. One person cooks. Uh, everybody else is eating out, apparently. Um, but I'm, I'm going to guess that every single one of you has boiled water at some point in your life. And uh, as you know, when you boil water, you, you put the water in the pot, you turn on the heat, nothing happens, or at least that's the way it looks. And uh, 10 minutes later, still nothing looks like it's happening. And then suddenly there's a little tingle. And then before you know it, without your paying attention, the water's boiling. This waterfront is getting to boiling on what we're looking at, both in terms of public investments, the kind of things, there's 10 different things that the Waterfront Corporation is doing to improve the public environment along this waterfront, this being actually a fascinating and uh, I think going to be a spectacular piece of it in its difference from everything else. But we're also talking to developers, both nonprofit and for-profit developers, who are starting to see the water simmer. Uh, they want to be out here. They're ta they're ha we're having very serious conversations about how they can develop, and it's all coming together in the right way. It sometimes doesn't feel that way because it's a slow process, and it takes a lot of little tiny steps that are not visible in public to make it work, but it is working. And I think um, over the next year and two years, we're going to come to a boil. This place is taking off. Thank you for all of your help, all of you, communities, DCNR, William Penn Foundation, my team, the mayor, DRWC, and the board. Uh, this has been a spectacular combined effort. We're going to make it. Thank you. Thank you, Alan. Uh, finally, uh, in every one of our projects, DRWC uh, partners with the local neighborhood civic association to get their input, incorporate their suggestions, and uh, hopefully get them involved in the stewardship of the projects that we're building. In this case, we have worked closely and enjoyed a, a great relationship with the Penn Sports Civic Association, and I would like to ask the president of that group, Dr. Jim Moylan, to speak on behalf of the Penn Sport community. Thank you, Tom. Uh, good morning, and welcome to Pennsport. Uh, as you've heard already this, uh, this morning, Pennsport holds a significant history in the city of Philadelphia, and we're here to guarantee that Pennsport will hold a significant part of history in the future of Pennsport, of the city of Philadelphia, that we will be involved in all aspects of what goes on. As Tom has learned and Joe Fork and a number of the other uh, members of DRWC have learned through this process, that we in Pennsport have a very specific passion, interest, and intent on being involved with every step of the way of what's going on down here. From the planning, the implementation, the ongoing use and maintenance of these projects, uh, we're looking to make sure that we have an involvement. Pennsport is one of the fastest growing neighborhoods in the city right now. We are expanding and growing and building houses and new businesses at an alarming rate. 
with that, what's been going on is I have meetings and discussions with many planners, developers, and contractors on a regular basis. And one of the things that I emphasize to them is that we don't want you just in our neighborhood. We want you to be part of our neighborhood. Same holds true here. With this sort of uh, project, we want to make sure that it is part of our neighborhood, that we have access to it, that people utilize it, and it becomes a welcoming environment. So part of the projects and expansion that's going on here is improving the connectivity to the neighborhood, making sure that we can get here in a safe, effective way. And that's part of the progress of these projects. These are piecemeal things, but once they're all put together, that's when we're going to tie it in and make sure that projects such as this are truly part of our neighborhood. So we're looking forward to that progress and making sure that we have more meetings and involvement like this in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. And this concludes uh, this morning's program. I'd like to thank you all for coming. I'd also like to invite you all uh, for a walk out to the edge of the pier uh, and as well to invite you to the ribbon cutting for this fabulous new park next summer. Thank you. Thank you.